Good Goddess Tea. We're gonna talk about the Danny Lay and the baby situation. We're gonna talk about the Faith Evans and Stevie J situation. We're gonna talk about the Zach Stacy situation, the ex-NFL player that really went ate crazy on his baby mother. Like literally. Like like that was a weird crazy situation. We're gonna talk about stuff like the Tammy Roman situation where just talking about that she was gonna let her husband have a whole baby with somebody else because he wanted a child and he could leave her for two years and then come back. We're gonna talk about that. And other stuff that pop into my head, you know, stuff that's going on. It's a lot of stuff going on in the social media world in the world period in the media to distract us from you know COVID and all of that. Sorry, I'm looking at the bronze and stuff. So let's start with the Danny Lay and the baby situation. So Danny Lay and the baby are, their situation is very interesting. I see the situation going like all situations, like regular folks situation. They basically have a toxic relationship and he keeps saying, the babies keep saying, oh, she's a side chick, she's not a side chick. Why are you having a whole baby with a side chick then? So that says a lot about you. If she was a side chick, which I don't know if I believe that, Kind of like with his behaviors and how he was acting with the old girl, it seemed like something else was going on a little bit to me. And just because he didn't tell the world, oh, this is my girl or whatever, doesn't mean nothing. Because some people be in whole relationships, but they be keeping it all low to themselves. So that doesn't mean nothing just because he didn't tell nobody. Like, and my whole thing is if you're having a child with somebody, a whole child with somebody, you should be careful who you have children with. Like, that was a bad decision on his part if she was a side chick. If we want to go with his narrative, because I don't know if I really believe him, really. But, you know, you know, I digress. And then with her, Danny Lay, what she did wrong, in my opinion, was having a child with this man, period. And then in the incident that happened, her hitting his phone, pushing all that cursing she was doing, and then staying somewhere when she was asked to leave. You cannot stay in anybody's home when you're asked to leave. If they tell you to leave and you don't leave, that's trespassing, basically, because they don't want you there. Why are you leaving? And then the fact that she was pushing him and, you know, pushing his phone and hitting him and acting like real combative didn't make her look any better, especially when he did the live. It made her look like she was abusive. She, that's why he said safety when he wrote the whole blurb where he did the live and then he had like the message part that you can write afterwards and he was saying for his safety because she's probably been putting her hands on him a lot of the times and now he's kind of getting like kind of sick of it. So now his whole thing is like, why do you keep putting your hands on me? And even during the video, live stream kept telling her, why are you touching me? Like the next day, not the day where he called the police on her and she has a charge of battery or something like that. So... She needs to learn. If someone tells you to leave their premises to go, just go. Don't stay there because what you're doing is you're causing a problem to yourself. Like, I understand you had a child with him and you say that you've been in a relationship, but he doesn't see it, it as y'all been together for all this time and he just sees you as a side chick. I think he was just saying that to antagonize her and piss her off because he knew that, but she has a hand problem. Even in that video, she kept like trying to touch on him and then hitting his phone and stuff and she has no right to. Like, if she don't like something, she should have just left like he asked. Like, that's where she went wrong, staying somewhere where she's not wanted. Someone does not want you at their premises, you leave, that's simple. You staying, you causing more problems to yourself, and whatever they do to you, you kind of causing it upon yourself. I still think he's wrong for, you know, telling her to leave so early in the morning while, she, while she's feeding his daughter. At the same time, I don't know what happened before he took put the live on while she's feeding her child that made him feel the need to tell her to leave. Maybe she was hitting him and stuff like that. We don't never know because he put that safety word in there. And anytime a man's saying safety, that means that there is some physical altercations or physical abuse going on. And he has to document it for him so that he has proof of what's happening because people, because of what his skin color is, which is facts, he's not lying about that are not gonna wouldn't have believed that she was hitting on him they would have believed her so he's trying to record just based for his safety and then i just feel like my guy like that's why you should have been careful who you had a child with he needs to be a little bit more careful who he has children with because he's not being careful he should be doing whatever and that's bad on his part because he's creating issues on himself like like if you would have been more careful and got to know her longer, you would have figured out that she was cuckoo for cocoa cups, like you say, because that's what he kept saying on the last year. She's cuckoo for cocoa cups. She's crazy. She's this. She's that. So that was his choice. Like you made the decision to have a child with this woman, even though you could say she's a tired chick. Then why are you having children with side chicks? 
Like, that's a problem on your part. So that's on you. And I just feel like Danny Lay's dumb. Like, she had every chance to avoid the situation, and she chose to do it. Which I know people make mistakes, so I know she's human, so she probably thought that she was different. Like, everybody was saying she made that song Yellow Bone, oh, he wants a light skin, and she thought she was better than dark-skinned women. But now it's blowing up in her face, because now look. He trying to make you look like you a side chick. He talking down to you. He's trying to kick you out and you have his whole child. He's showing you right here that he don't give two fucks about you, sis. Like, so next time when people try to tell you something, take heed to people's words. Take heed to people's words because people don't take heed to stuff. People don't listen to their gut and then they don't listen to people that have prior knowledge of the person. Everybody's made that mistake and she's human. So I'm just saying maybe she thought because maybe he was telling her stuff too, because a lot of times women listen to what the man tells them and doesn't look at what's in front of them, which is a track record or a pattern of behavior. Like if someone's done this multiple times to other people, that means that nine times that he's gonna do it to you. Now, if you didn't know him and he didn't have a track record, then that would be different, but he does. So I think next time she needs to learn her lesson, next time listen. And then her family came out the woodworks when he did that video talk of the live stream, talking about the family, the shame of their grandchild. And then he showed his daughter the way she looked, and she looks just like him. She's cute. She's a cute little thing. But the mom came out talking about, oh, I'm just in support of my daughter. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, we didn't want to get involved. This is so like I did a whole baby shower. You were nowhere around. What are you saying? So his, the, her family is like, no, 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 no. Listen here, you're construing it. Nah, 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 nah. And then the brother was like, he wanted some smoke with the baby. Like, talking about he wanted to fight him and all types of stuff. I was like, oh, See, I came out with a video after all evidence came out. Because every day with that situation with Danny Lay and the baby, more evidence kept coming out. So that's why I waited to do my video. Like, oh, wow. That's a lot of shit coming out. But yes, that situation, like, is real crazy. And we'll never know the true essence of what really transpired or what's really going on. So you can only go off of, you know what you see and you can't really basically pick a side so i'm not picking sides they're both wrong he's ridiculous he's a troll he was definitely trolling her he was definitely antagonizing her because she was still there even though he wanted to leave and even during the live stream the next day after the incident and she was getting all mad he called the police so what if you're putting your hands on somebody or constantly throwing stuff or constantly being really loud and yelling and screaming and saying fuck you and ah oh, fuck you fuck you nigga and throwing stuff at people and putting your hands on their property which is in their hands and stuff and you're hitting them and stuff what do you think is going to happen he has every right i'm sorry she's a little bit too combative and too like handsy for me like you don't have no place to be putting your hands on people if they don't want you there they don't want you there Z, 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 Z. I'm doing a video. Thank you. Yeah, so you're going to hear my son a little bit. Because he's home. Because this all this week is Thanksgiving vacation where my son's at. So he's not going to school. So you're going to hear him in the background. Zayir, stop. That's enough. Thank you. Yeah, you need to come finish this tea. Because you have tea. You need to come finish your tea. Thank you. Your ginger tea. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, that's just my son. So, I just feel like they both wrong in that situation. And Daniela should have picked better and listened to what people tried to tell her. But she didn't want to listen. And now, she, it blew up in her face. And now everybody, nobody feels sorry for her. And I can understand why. She, she didn't listen to, to people when people tried to tell her, sit down and finish your tea. I just said, finish it. And still some left. So, you need to sit down, like I told you. Thank you. Finish your tea, young man. Mm -mm. Don't want to hear it. I'm using it. I'm recording a video. Sorry. When I'm done, then you can use my phone. I'm recording something. So the next, the so I just feel like they both wrong. The baby trolling, being extra. That gum stuff he was doing was mad annoying too. You know, <laughs> he was being crazy. Like, what are you doing? It's mad extra. I don't even know what people see in him because to me, he's not really all that. Like, ugh, nothing attractive to me about him at all. Like, I don't get it. But, you know, I just feel like they need to do what's best for their daughter and stop acting ridiculous and just keep it pushing and stop all this extra antic stuff embarrassing her. Because she's going to be able to see this down the line on the see how they, her parents, how combative her parents were and how her mom was abused of hitting all over him and how he was, like, embarrassing her, calling her a side chicken, telling her she needs to get the hell out of his house and kicking her out and do all. They just both need to stop. And next time, she needs to take heed to what people tell her when people try to warn her that 
no don't do that to yourself and then he needs to like relax his own self too he's ridiculous a little bit too i can't deal with him either like they both no and then let's talk about this stevie j and stevie j and faith evans situation stevie j basically did a video released the video i think he released that shit himself they're like oh i don't know how they got it no he released it himself obviously the so stevie j basically basically confronting faith evans about cheating and how she got mad like get out my face leave me alone uh, 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 uh. and my whole thing is did you not read her memoir any person that re read the faith evans memoir that tells you everything you need to know about faith evans faith evans is not no innocent little mama she's not no innocent woman read her memoir if you read that you would know everything you need to know about miss faith evans and he and I feel like this is karma. If she's cheating on him, it's kind of karma to Stevie J because that's what he's done in per, plenty of his relationships where women were faithful to him and good to him. And he was consistently cheating. So this is his karma. Sometimes you get you get karma back tenfold when you do stuff that's not right, and this is kind of his karma. That's how I feel. I, she shouldn't be cheating on him, but at the same time, this is his karma because he did that to plenty of women and didn't care and thought he was all that and he could do what he wants. Now he sees how it feels when someone cheats on him. It's karma, boo-boo. You don't cheat on somebody else in prior relationships and think that you're not going to get some type of karma. Karma is something that comes back to you tenfold all the time. Anytime you do something, especially negative or bad to others, karma is going to get you. It may not get you today. It may not get you tomorrow, but it can happen 10 years down the line, 20 years when you're not even thinking about what you've done bad to other people. And then later on, you get all this, these things happening so you don't understand. Then you have to think about what have I done in the past to hurt other people, and that's what he's getting now. And he's even, from what I'm seeing, even staying with her, forgiving her for what's done because he's done that to other people. So he should understand that it is what it is. My whole thing, oh, you sleeping with men in my bed, you cheat. And you probably done that to prior women your own self. What are you talking about? So he's getting back what he's probably done to somebody else and it's being done to him by his late his wife now. Now he see how it feels when he does that to other people. So I don't respect if Faith Evans is cheating because I don't know if he's for real, for real, being true for real, if he's lying. You never know. You go and go based off of what he's saying, what she's saying, what she's telling him just to get. She didn't say that she didn't do it. She just told him to get the hell out of his face and that he's childish and this is what she can't deal with. That's what she said in the beginning. She never said, nah, I didn't do that. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. She's telling him, whatever, like, get out of my face. So I think maybe she might have done it because her track record is that she, she a freak. I'm just saying she's a freak like the persona that they put on faith at bad boy to make her look like she's real motherly and she was real like you know you know virtuous and you know it's not true if you read her memoir it's not that's not her at all it's the opposite you know so my whole thing is that's what she does she cheats on people that she likes she likes it and even jocelyn hernandez stevie j's ex said that she was messing with stevie j while he was with jocelyn so she doesn't care about messing with other people when they're with other people she don't care so that's just faith evans who she is so people shouldn't really be getting mad or anything like that you shouldn't stevie j shouldn't get mad he's done it and then she's doing it because that's consistently what she does sorry i got something in her teeth i just noticed it so she's consistently consistently doing that that's just what she does so i kind of don't feel sorry for him like you marry someone that's like that that's your own fault and you were messing with her allegedly allegedly because you say allegedly and stuff because you don't know allegedly when he was with jocelyn so it's like she don't have no respect for relationships or boundaries clearly so it's like what made you think she wasn't gonna do it to you so it's so sorry so if he stays with her then whatever happens to him is his own problem i'm just saying like if you don't like it leave her if you're gonna stay deal with it then why release videos complaining i don't, I don't get that but yeah stevie's getting his, his his taste of his own medicine his own karma and he's not liking the taste of it but that's what he get he's getting what he's reaping what he sold what he done in the dark came in life and what he's constantly doing to other people is coming to him coming back to him to haunt him past shit he's done is coming back that's what he gets now he'll see how it feels and maybe he'll learn to be faithful and stop cheating on people and stop doing the things that he do i'm just saying and her her cheating is just like that's what she does i read her memoir her memoir was entertaining as hell like she is 
wow, I didn't even like, like, I didn't even think she was like that until I read the book and really got into like her personality and things that she does. Very interesting, very interesting. Zaire, can you stop now? I told you to stop already how many times, so stop. I'm recording a video and you're disrupting my video now. Come on, stop, Zaire. Come finish your tea. Let's go. Your tea is still here, so you need to finish it. And it's not hot. Really that hot yet. I'm drinking um ginger tea and this canister keeps it warm. So the next store I'm gonna talk about is the the Zach Stacy story. That video shocked me. That video shocked me. I couldn't believe it when I saw the video of that man throwing her into the TV, then going, proceeding to go next on the floor and punch her multiple times, then grip her up in the air and drop her down and then throw something at her. Yeah, he is out of pocket. That's first of all. Who the hell does that? I don't care what she did. If she stole money from you, if she cheated on you, because that's, that's, that's the allegedly the reasoning behind why he did that. And then a video when he was speaking, he was talking about you like to disrupt and, and, and mess up people's relationships. I'm like, what the hell is this man talking about? That's what I'm saying. He's very, like, making no sense, That's first of all. And second of all, even if it is so, my whole thing is he had no right to hit on her like that. That is ridiculous. And now he's going to be going to jail. He could go up to 15 years or too longer because he has multiple charges against him. They're looking for him. He's on the run right now. So my whole thing is I hope they catch him. That's first of all. And second of all, she had a video camera already set up. So this is not his first time putting his hands on her, obviously. And she survived. She's a very strong woman because the hits were strong as fuck. He is very strong. Like, oh, no. I said, ooh, girl, maybe she'll have rethought messing with this one. He is nutty. Ooh. Just come to your house and just throw you into a whole TV and throw you down and punch you a bunch of times on the floor and then pick you up by your neck and slam you on the floor. Yeah, he is out of pocket. I was like, what the hell type of abusive, psycho nonsense is that? I couldn't believe it. I was like, ooh, girl, you know. I'm happy that they released the videos, and I hope they find him real soon, because I don't want him to do nothing to her or to the, their child. Like, he is nutty. She needs to get a restraining order, and they need to put him in jail for the rest of, like, like for, like, 30 years. That abuse is ridiculous. It's not his first time abusing this woman. That's why she had the videos already set up obvious. It's obvious. Something's wrong with him. Mm-mm. I couldn't do it. Mm -mm. Just come out of just throwing people into shit. Like, God damn. I said, what the hell? I just was like, when I saw the video, I was like. My face was like. I couldn't believe what I was watching. I said, oh, hell the fuck no. He was tripping, tripping. I said, oh, no. Mm -mm. Girl, I, I don't know. People got to choose better. Choosing these little psychos to be with. <laughs> and then you have the child with them. Oh, now you stuck with him for 18 years, sis. Hopefully, hopefully be in jail for, for this assault that he did to you. Hopefully be in jail for the majority of your child's life so the child don't have to deal with his abuse. I'm sorry. Like, he is crazy. That's ridiculous what he was doing in that video. I couldn't believe it. He's going to live to regret it. But by the time he regrets what he has done, he's going to be in jail for, like, 15, 20 years. So, and he's not no spring chicken, so he'll be out when he's like 70, 80 or something like that. He looks like he's in his late 40s to me. 50s or something. He don't look that young to me, so. 15, 20 years or longer, they're going to get him longer because that woman is not of my of my color. So, they're going to give him a lot of time. So, that's, hope they catch him because he deserves to be in jail. You do not do that. That was out of pocket. That was out of place. Another thing I want to talk about that's really big and everybody's consistently been talking about it as well is the young Dolph. The rest in peace for young Dolph. And from what I've seen, that was clearly a sacrifice. Anytime you see stuff like that, sacrifice. I'm sorry. I'm going to say that real quickly. Okay. So that's how I see it. Rest in peace to him. Sad and um, my condolences to his family. I'm hoping they are talking about people. They've caught people on tape that shot him up, but I think it was a clear sacrifice in my opinion. 
for what I know about sacrifices. I do believe in that type of stuff and about what goes on in the industry and all these different deaths, all these different rappers that consistently keep getting killed. You know, they were fine before they became artists. All of a sudden they become artists and all these deaths happen out of nowhere. It's like sacrifice. I'm sorry. People gotta pay attention. Even like the whole thing with um, Travis Scott and now they're trying to blame everything on him even though he does not do towards himself is the same thing that was a sacrifice situation and now they're trying to scapegoat him so that the people that put the money into it don't get in trouble because now he's getting sued and a lot of his people are white see that's what happens when you see that's what happens when you're trying to be like like rock stars because that rock stars concerts are the only concerts i know where people do mosh pits regular black concerts do not do mosh pits but that's that'll teach him a lesson but him not being for his own people and now look at him they are blaming everything on you even though you did not do everything by yourself so how's everything your fault and they're trying to and your publicist is trying to make you say that it's your fault so like i said that was a sacrifice situation and now they're putting him throwing him under the bus and he's scapegoated now that's what they always do they propel certain black people to stardom, get them to do all this sacrifice stuff. And, you know, that's the reason why I wouldn't suggest anybody to, if you're an artist, to sign a major label. I would suggest people to be independent because you can make a lot of money being on your own to get all your money. Be independent. Do not sign these contracts because what you're doing is you're, you're signing in blood and you're sacrificing yourself. Like, you got to sacrifice either people, you know, random people, or else. That's what you sign up for when you sign those, those 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 blood blood contracts. Okay. Just saying. I'm just saying it real quickly because I don't want to, you know. It might censor my video though. You never know. But yes. So if there's any more tea, I'll do another sip tea with goddess tea. Make a comment below with your comments. Subscribe. Give me a like, you know. And if you, you know, and my also follow grind and motivate videos carlos king because i follow him too he's really good he has a lot of commentary on the young dog situation if you want to know about that and follow those two people and give me a like subscribe and comment this is god is god is tea sip tea we gotta see the second edition talk to y'all later bye youtube